settings. Now go to Blacklister, App Settings, choose the country that you're going to be listing in. You have to do the formula settings and the seller profile settings. Scroll down where it says App Settings. So this is what we are going to add into our listing for each listing that we do this is what it's going to be for your ebay listing okay if you list via blacklister listing duration so this is how long you want the item to be on ebay for how long you are selling this ebay listing on ebay okay so if you wanted the item to be listed for seven days you choose seven days if you want to have it for 30 days you choose 30 days or good to cancel we would usually recommend 30 days when you start off and then change it to good to cancel after a little while okay your location is where you are based so you are based in the uk for example say you are based in um newport you would just type in Newport. You do not have to add a postcode, but let's add a postcode in here. If you wanted to add a postcode or a zip code for the US. The country that we are selling in is the United Kingdom. So let's look for United Kingdom. This is where the item is based. So if you were drop shipping or have a warehouse or whatever in the UK, this is where your item is based. It doesn't have to be where you are based, it has to be where your item is based, okay? The dispatch times mean how long it's gonna take you to ship the item off to the customer. So if your supplier ships the item off tomorrow, you know, one day in one day or same day, you will list it as one day dispatch time. If your item gets dispatched in three days we add three days so this is when the item is actually shipped from the warehouse to the customer a restocking fee is not an obligation um, but you can choose to charge a restocking fee and then take it off their refund price you know you partially refund price um, or you get them to pay it extra it's it's up to you you can either have none or you can charge so 10%, 15% or 20%. The quantity is how many items do you want listed onto eBay? So if you were listing a phone charger, for example, and you want to have, and your, and your supplier has 75 available and you want to list it for two of them, every time that you list an item, two of that product will be listed onto eBay. Okay. PayPal email. PayPal email is the email address that you get paid with to PayPal. So if you get paid on a different PayPal account than you buy from, you would add the one that you get paid on. So add your PayPal email address here. Okay. Global shipping. If you want to do global shipping on that specific item, you can change it here to yes or here to no. Usually bigger items um, does not allow global shipping so we can come back here and add no so if you don't want to do global shipping say no the default repricer so if you want to use a price a uh, repricer that is on blacklister which is dsm or a screw grid you can choose which one you will be using for this specific item okay so that is your app settings your app settings are very important this you can change every time that you want to come do a listing or change the global shipping to certain items. You can just change it here. Quantity, if you have less of one available, you can change it to one or 10. It's up to you how much quantity you want to. Um, I would always recommend starting off with one when you're a new seller, but of course that is your choice. Dispatch time, I would recommend three days, um, just to be on the safe side for a beginner.